Okay, so this is just a, a quick demonstration of um, the TurtleBot 3 uh, simulation. Um, and I'm going to uh, demonstrate uh, Slam using the GMapping package. Um, I've taken this sort of, and I've added to it from the, um, the Robotis e manual of the TurtleBot 3. Um, I'll link that in the description below, and I'll also link. Um, just a, a list of the commands I use to to bring this up and running in like five minutes to save you trawling through the the manual. I think that'd be handy, especially if you've not really used ROS uh, that that much before. So you should just be able to get this up and going uh, in a couple of minutes. Incidentally, I did try this on um, Ubuntu fourteen oh four with Indigo, and uh, there were some problems with um, Gazebo. Uh, it wouldn't run, so I would recommend that you use uh, Ubuntu sixteen oh four and uh, ROS Kinetic. Um, so this is the Gazebo uh, virtual environment, and we've got the turbo there. So zoom in, and that's uh, an RP lidar there. Uh, the turbobot is a um, differential drive robot. Uh, this is the burger variant of it, so it's stacked up, and it is a little top heavy. Um, there's a single caster wheel on it, um, so when you're moving it fast, uh, it, it's got a tendency to stop it as it's throwing momentum. It's got a tendency to tip and you'll see that um, with the LiDAR scan in a bit. It doesn't really uh, cause anything, it's just interesting to know. Uh, can I pan and tilt? Yeah, I can sort of pan and tilt. Maybe not. Um, so in this environment, uh, it's it's walled off. And we've got nine uh, features, and this is a really good environment for demonstrating the Slam uh, package because we've got loads. I now instantly this is there's no time just
and just came for because uh, to So grab uh, it again to also uh phone When you AMCL packages project Austin and Robot One just cut uh anyway uh if you want with a ball each other so so come to that show dialogue itself which uh grace and lineage uh gem is uh and uh yam off say that sort of now so I'll leave um Gazebo still running on the, the Teleop node because um, we can use them uh, for the AMCL demo, which, I sh which will be in the next video. Um, so if we go to Home, Turtle 3, you can see there the map and the YAML file. So this is the map, and you can see that there corresponds to, um, just zoom in a bit, it's. Can we flip that? Yeah, there we go. Um, so there's that artifact that I was talking about before. Uh, close without saving. And then if we look at the YAML file, this is just a, a description. So it says here, that's where it's saved. Um, and the resolution is 0 0.5 meters per pixel. So 5 centimeters per pixel. That's the origin of where we started. Um, the occupied threshold is at any value above um, It's not the the value of the pixel isn't actually this. It's um, off the top of my head. It's uh, I think two five five minus um, the eight bit value stored uh, in the PGM file for that pixel uh, times two hundred fifty five. Um, gives you uh, the value, and then if the, the value is um, greater than 0.65, it's regarded as a physical barrier, which is shown in black. And if it's uh, less than 0.196, uh, it's regarded as free space. I believe that any number uh, in between these two, uh, the A star path planning uh, algorithm in the AMCL package will uh, avoid it, um, but it won't pick it up as a physical obstacle. So the um, the Monte Carlo um, localization, which uses a particle filter, 